We have some new leaks and benchmarks of the iPhone 11, and uh, they have us kind of worried. It looks like Samsung's Galaxy Fold is ready for a launch date, and we already hear about the Fold 2's design. And the Apple Watch Series 5 is finally bringing a feature it should have brought a long time ago. I'm Jaime Rivera, and raise your hands. Who of you packed for Berlin and forgot your t-shirts? This is Pocket Now Daily from IFA 2019. The official news today begin with deals. As always, those of you in the market for a flagship from 2019 that's uh, more aggressively priced at uh, the level that I think it should have been, let's talk about the LG G8 ThinQ. Yes, I hate calling it ThinQ, but there are some current deals at B&H where it's currently $270 off, meaning you'll end up paying $580. Bucks. So this is for the 128 gigabyte variant in both the gray and the black color options. I can't tell you that I love the G8. It's not a bad phone by any means. You'll never use the Z camera, but in everything else, I think the price is really good. Now let's move the spotlight over to the leak section, which is pretty much the rest of the video. Let's talk about Huawei and what we should expect when it comes to its wearables. We have some new leaked images of the Watch GT2, which uh, could be announced either at IFA or at the May 30 event. We have a larger display with slimmer bezels and a larger 445 milliamp hour battery. It should bring GPS and the speaker and microphone to let you talk to the assistant, which is don't know exactly what assistant it'll be. And uh, apparently we have images for both the GT2 and the GT2 Sport. Whatever the case may be, yeah, the biggest question is what assistant? And since we're talking about wearables, let's talk about the one that I actually do like, which is the Apple Watch. Uh, particularly what we should expect for Series 5, which should be announced at the same time as the next generation iPhone. Some of the new rumors have it that the company will bring some detection for your blood pressure and blood sugar levels, but on a more realistic note, it seems that it will bring sleep tracking, finally. You will be able to schedule your bedtime and it will track your sleep with multiple sensors, watching how much you move, your heart rate, noises, etc. It will turn on Do Not Disturb while you sleep and will turn off your alarms if you wake up before them, which is something I always need in the shower. That's actually a really good change. Uh, hopefully it'll come to Series 5 and it'll make its way back to Series 4 because I don't understand. I mean, I have third-party apps that will detect sleep and there's just no excuse, Apple. Now, let's talk about OnePlus and what we can expect from that OnePlus TV as we continue getting more leaks over what to expect. We've got some Amazon listings that have revealed some interesting information about the speakers. You will not need a soundbar, apparently, unless you want to buy it, obviously, because it will bring eight speakers, which make a total of 50 watts. It will also be powered by Dolby Atmos for punchy bass and cinematic sound space, and it's clear that OnePlus, even though they're never a brand that's going for the high end, they do know how to compete in that space at an aggressive price. So now we understand where this TV is going. It's just not going to be OnePlus's own territory. I mean, TCL is already famous for that in addition to Hisense. So this is going to get really interesting. And yes, I join you. Where is the Galaxy Fold? And uh, we've got Evan Blass already talking about it, and uh, this is actually getting even more interesting, not just because of that part of the leak. See, according to Blast, the Galaxy Fold will be reannounced in the United States on September 27th, as the company already opened pre-registrations in the US. But uh, that's, again, not necessarily the most important product because apparently there are already leaks about the Fold 2. And according to a Bloomberg report, the company is working with a fashion designer on a more square design that will fit easily in your pocket. It should be a 6.7 inch clamshell foldable. It also looks like it will have less features but costs way less than the current Fold which makes me wonder exactly what those less features could be. I mean, you could remove some cameras and just use the primary and take advantage of the fact that the thing folds, but that's about it, Sammy. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the iPhone 11, but uh, we're actually talking about the 10R successor pretty much, not the most expensive phone. When it comes to benchmarks, apparently the results are disappointing compared to its predecessor. It seems like it will pack four gigs of RAM, which is an upgrade from the three gigs on the 10R. And then these benchmarks have it with similar scores to the 10R, 
But uh, we have to remember that that's no set indicator, as for example, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus scored lower than the OnePlus 7 Pro. We also hear that these benchmarks don't take into account the new AMX coprocessor that's been rumored for the A13. So yeah, uh, you know, it could be that we should trust them, it could be that we shouldn't. I mean, Apple is kind of unpredictable, but they do make some really good processors. So let us know in the comments down below. Number one, do you really care about benchmarks anymore? Like, is this information important to you whenever you buy a product? And number two, are you looking forward to the least expensive of the iPhones? Because in my case, if they pull another 10R, I might be. It depends on the amount of cameras, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinions. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on Pagenow.com and subscribe to our channels English and Spanish for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow my personal handles to see what I do while I'm here in Berlin. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.